Greetings, greetings, beautiful friends. Thank you so much for tuning into Movement Medicine Morsels. We are now in October, so this is going to be short and sweet month where the sessions are about 10 minutes-ish and focus more on movement and breathing. We had quite a bit of theory and uh, lecture combined in September for yoga month, and let's get to it. So please move at a pace that's comfortable for you. And we're going to start standing up. You can always modify for seated if you wish, but you can come gently to standing as well if you want to follow me. So standing or sitting nice and tall, take a moment. As we always do, feel your feet, feel your sit bones. There's a sense that there's a downward flow that joins with the energy of the earth. And at the same time, we tap into an upward flow that reaches up through the spine and the crown of the head. And we'll do just a little bit of moving and breathing along this axis. On the exhalation, let's soften the knees, the ankles, cup the hands. On the inhalation, one smooth breath and reach to the sky. Exhale and the earth gently, playfully pulls you down. And then inhale, the sky says, no, come this way. And two more, exhale, there's no collapsing, there's no fight, it's a lovely play between the energy of suspension and the energy of rooting. Let's suspend one more time, interlace the fingers, open the feet, Little bend, side bend, exhaling, inhaling up, side bend, exhaling. Nice, gentle, mindful movement. One more time, side bend, inhale up, and side bend, inhale up. Stay tall and let the elbows, hands, and shoulders melt down. Soften the knees and we'll do a little bit of shaking, loosening up any places. Maybe you've been sitting at the computer for a day already, or maybe you're just waking up and or maybe you turned on the news and you tightened up, whatever has happened. We're just opening up, releasing, maybe bounce a little bit over one leg, <sighs> let out sound, bounce over the other leg. Shake up. Here we can lift and drop the heels. Whew, this also builds some impact strength for the bones of the legs. So many good things going on. And ooh, shake your lips, make some silly sounds, jiggle yourself. All right. Zip up and connect down. And a little bit of twisting. We'll start with the feet in place. So these are a little bit smaller and then let them open up if you wish to and here we're going to pivot on the ball of the back foot and do let your eyes take in your surroundings ah. and allow this to come to its own natural ending now just a little bit more warming up in preparation for the flow that i have planned for you so we're going to take the feet a little wider and we're going to bend one knee and sink. We want the groin to be soft. So we draw back gently in the groin, the butt sticks out a little bit and we're just leaning, inhale, feel the lightness and then let yourself sink. Inhale, feel the lightness coming up and over and let yourself sink. And this quality we're going to be continuing with in a moment, but we want to open up the feeling in the hips. And one more side to even out. And now let's do a little bit for the ankles. So one foot, dancers speak, we call this on the walk. The heel is up and you're on the ball of the foot. Remember to stay nice and tall. And we're going to circle the ankle with the ball of the foot getting a nice massage. And you may discover that your hip says, hey, I like this, I wanna come along with this. So you say, yes. 
nice and easy. You can keep this really small. You can sweep it out a little bigger, whatever is your pleasure and pace today. And of course, we're going to go the other way. Now make sure that you are including the ankle. I just found myself getting excited about the hip and then limiting the ankle a little bit. So we are doing this also for the ankle and the foot. And then lean forward and shake that leg out. Walk a little bit and see if there's any qualitative difference in that foot. It's always nice to check in. And of course, the other side. So bringing the second foot on the walk, the heel is up, hands on the hips, you're still suspended. Begin to circle the ankle. Circle the ankle and allow any other part of your body to come along for the ride as a passenger. Keep the spotlight, the attention, the initiating movement into the ankle. And keep breathing, of course. Circle the other way. Let yourself be absorbed by the movement. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just make it feel really good for you. Okay, lean forward, shake that out, shake that out, shake that out. Okay, couple shoulder circles. Inhale up and back, exhale down and forward. Ah. Ah. And then just a little jiggle. Okay, the footwork. We're going to step out to one side and then we're going to bring the other foot on the walk into a small curtsy. As we inhale, we step up and then we bow and curtsy. I'll turn around and do it the same direction as you. So we step out and then we bow. We inhale up and then we bow. So it helps to get the back knee a little bit past the front knee. Front foot is on the flat and back foot is on the walk. Now, of course, this can be very regal and very up, or some of you might find it's comfortable to go low, but make sure you are respecting your knees because they're the only knees you got. So there's always a spectrum. Now with the arms, so this is the bowing and landing on the earth, the landing on the earth. Now we also have a sweep the sky. So one arm is going to paint a big circle and the other hand is going to follow. So just with the knees supple, let's inhale and up, up and soften over. Inhale up, up and exhale, soften. Inhale, up, up, look up, take in the sky. One more, up, up, and exhale, soften. So there's almost a feeling of tossing, a light tossing, and no strain, just joy. So now we'll put it together. So let's inhale to the right, inhale, step out, out, and as you exhale, you soften into that curtsy. And then inhale, arm, arm, as you step over and look at the earth. Inhale, up, up, embrace the sky, then glance at the earth. Inhale, up, up, and you land lightly. Inhale, toss, toss, and then land. Inhale, up, up, and softly, so the knees keep bending. Inhale, up, up, and gently land. Last one, inhale, up, up, and land. And now just step open, and now we're going to brush the waters. As though your hands are trailing on the surface of a lake or a pond. Nice warm pond, because you're standing about hip height in it. The hips are fluid. Pretend you are moving in lovely water. Maybe you're surrounded by some very beautiful lotuses. And start bringing the feet a little closer together. The swirling of the hands on the water gets a little bit smaller. And finally, when it feels like the right time for you, let your Hands come to rest, clasped lightly over the low belly. 
Feel your feet planting roots, the crown of your head rising up. And imagine yourself as a stalk of fresh, supple bamboo. Any movements from the inside of your body or outside of your body, imagining a little breeze, allowing your body to respond. And finally, allowing things to settle. And even though our final position is stillness, there is still movement of breath, of energy. Maybe you even still feel a little bit of internal spiraling or waving. Soft smile. Ah. Short and sweet, getting the juices flowing, shaking off any dullness, stagnation, or tension. And thank you for joining in, beautiful people. Drop me a line if you like what's happening or if you have any other suggestions. And I send you many blessings and keep flowing. Keep flowing all day. Bye for now.